What's up guys? Today we're going to be hanging out with Jared from RHEL to discuss RHEL's 3D theater setup. So what we have here, you hooked up the uh, center sub, which is probably the biggest thing I've noticed. And then we've got the uh, the L left and right's kind of in one. Yep, yep. And the, and the sub that I put in the upper front right corner. So those are with high level. And then the rear sub is through the LFE. Yep. But at the same time, you've got the LFE going with high level the front right sub. Yep, yep. The center channel through the high level, we've got the um, the black with the ground with the, through the center channel output. The yellow and red go to the positive. Yep. So you got to you got to twist the red and yellow together and then with the uh, the single left and right sub, we've got it grounded black on black, then red over to the left channel, the yellow over to the right channel. So this is with a class AB amp. Yep, class AB, yep. Good. Also with the LFE output going into the same sub. Going into the, the point one. The point so, one, yep. 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 And then of course, regular dedicated LFE channel for the uh, for the rear back channel. Yeah. So if you guys wanted to do this in your house, that's the procedure that you would take. Now if you wanted to do the dedicated left and right, it would be what? Um, red, red and yellow on the plus, and then black on the black on the left, and the same thing with the right channel. Correct, right? Yep. Yeah. yep, yep. And if you wanted to, right now we're using an HT1205 in the back. If you wanted to take your, your rear speakers and make them truly full, full range, you can drop a, a T9X in the back or yep. maybe even a T7X in here would work, right? right? Um, and then you can make that, you could do a point one and high level for your rear left and right speakers. And uh, we're running all these channels full range too. And Correct. Yeah, range. you you run them full range so that you're getting that full range signal. So what happens when the speakers drop off? That sub then kicks in and picks up and fills that gap. Yeah, that's why speed is super critical. So if you're just like, hey Jared, I have X Y Z speakers in the room. The room's this big. We want to make sure that we're matching up the subs with the speakers so that the subs are faster or mm -hmm. as fast or faster than the speakers. Because the last thing you want is your sub falling behind during music during a movie or yeah. anything like that you don't want it getting muddy or slow or or anything like that so it's super critical when when we match up subs and speakers that they're there that the subs are basically the pillow for the speakers to lay on if that makes sense yeah it's kind of the structural foundation of the system yeah and why do they call it 3d theater that's part about the 3d is you want to feel like if they're outside you feel the room pressurize as if you're somewhere outside right with them and when they walk indoors, you have that transition. When they walk from outside to indoors, you feel that, like, I just walked inside with mm -hmm. them. That feels, that, that's awesome, you know? Like, it's putting you in the scene. And I'm, I know a lot of people don't think there's a lot of bass in that center channel, but... There's a massive amount yeah, of information lot. going to that center yep. channel, yeah. Yep. Especially with the, with the gunshots. It's coming from the center. It's like, yeah. boom, boom, yeah, yeah. Like directly at you in your face here. And you could feel it. And when we were listening to uh, Ready Player One, like there was some stuff in there that I hadn't heard before. And I got a few. I got a couple 18s in here. <laughs> these are some little baby subs. These yeah. are uh, little, what are they, 9, 10s? Yeah. Yeah, little ten, little tens, and a one twelve in the back, and man, he's got he's got these blended in by like ear. He did it by ear, right? Yeah, yeah, it's correct. Yeah. So you know, I got the, I got the big train off and everything like that, and it does automatic room correction. But he did a pretty bang up job. Like I couldn't really localize these little subs. Typically, I pride myself on doing being able to hear where it's coming from. <laughs> but uh, he's got it blended in really well, and just everything was really uh, just meshes very cohesive together, uh, all together, man. Very and, surprising, and, and that that does that make sense to you too? With not being able to localize them is super yeah. important because you just don't want that. It's like having a spotlight you on you in the yeah. room, right? When you're listening to it, I, I want you to see. I have them turn to a point where I don't want them hot spotting in a room where you're like, "Oh yeah, the subs are right there." Yeah. Cause I hear it. I tried to listen during that scene. Was 
okay, am I feeling it coming from a certain area or not? Yeah. No, it's it's coming from right there. Yeah. I mean, and well, where it's supposed to be coming from, I should say. So if the noise is coming from back there, you you hear it back there. If it's coming from up there, you hear it up there or over here. It's not, it's not oh, there's a sub there and there's a sub there and there's a, you know, I can hear them. No, we don't want that. We want it to just fall into the system. Yeah, you know, be, yeah it blends nice. Yeah, mm-hmm. be intimate uh, and it's putting you in the scene with them so Mm -hmm. things are happening all around you just like you know we go walk out on the and we go walk out on the street right now as the truck drives by it's happening right in front of you if the truck drives behind you it's happening right you know what i mean it's it's all around you so it's it's immersing you with the sound of Mm -hmm. what the scene is trying to represent does that make sense yeah what i like that i don't think people notice is that with the center sub it's like when he's shooting the gun, it sounds like it's coming from the screen rather than, like, if you like, it kind of comes everywhere. Where if you have the center sub, it actually sounds like it's coming from the gun from the screen. So yeah. there's, like, bass in that center channel that you, you can get that feel straight to the chest. Almost. Yeah, just like I said, yeah, exactly. Just it's coming from where it's supposed to yeah. come. So when he breaks that bottle over his head, it actually, the bottle, when it broke, hit the ground over here. And you're just yeah. like, oh, wow, I'm just laying in front of my feet, yeah. right? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Let's see. You're exactly right. So it's it's giving that spatial recognition, the scene details that you normally would miss. Yeah, this I just think you you miss that when you don't have the uh, center sub because it just sounds like it's a big blast of bass <laughs> rather than actually coming from where it's yeah. you're looking at it come from. Would it be better if uh, we had two T9s up front, left and right, dedicated for? So if you're so a good question, if you're a two channel enthusiast and a theater enthusiast, yeah. uh, I would recommend having a stereo pair in the front, but then continue to still have that point one in the opposite rear corner, if that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Okay. The center channel, the center sub, man. Yeah. But yeah, man, you know, if you guys want to you know, check out their website or just follow some of the instructions that we gave you in this video. And you got some rels i would definitely try out the 3d theater because it's a pretty potent experience so you might actually hear things that you haven't heard before and if you guys have tried it definitely leave a comment down below and let us know your thoughts on rels 3d theater what do you guys think thanks for watching see you in the next one